Warning, the following episode of the Blackwell podcast contains spoilers from all episodes of Life is Strange. Hi, and welcome to the Blackwell Podcast, where we love Life is Strange more than Max loves to play her guitar in her room. I'm Jamie, joined again once again by Joey and Jess. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey. Hi. And today we have a really interesting episode. We, so, lifeisstrangefans.com had a contest a while back where people had to submit a cover of mm -hmm. a song from the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of great entries, but the shortlist up to five people and only four of them can make it today and we have brought them onto the show with the amazing Kofi. Hey guys. Hey. Hi, Hi. Hi. So we have Alessandra, Dakota, Christina, Hi. Matt and uh, we're gonna just talk to them a little bit and uh, get to know get to know you you folks because you are in the running to take home the big prize, so we uh, we're going to do this similar to the format uh, that we did with actual Life is Strange fans, folks. Um, so let's start with Alessandra. What uh, what got you into music? What? What uh, What got you started into music? Making music uh, and playing. I'm. I studied music at the conservatory, so I always loved music. I started when I was uh, 10 years old to play the guitar. So um, I just started like this, um, just um, to play. And now it's uh, the, the job I wish uh, I would do in the future. Um, I'm sorry for uh, my English. It's uh, I, I don't speak well, but I, I try to to speak without it. It's a pleasure, and uh, <laughs> I'm so shy too. And uh, um, so uh, I study jazz in uh, at the conservatory. So. Um, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. All right. So, so Dakota, so what about you? Yep. Um, well, my dad, actually, when he was younger, he was in, like, a classic 80s, like, metal hair band. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, he just basically pretty much raised me and taught me to learn guitar as, as early as I could. Um, and my mom has always really been into show tunes, so she kind of, like, the mixture of those two things, I would be, like, walking around the house and running, screaming at the top of my lungs and only a pair of tights and a feather boa as a three-year-old. So it kind of, <laughs> I think I've become a little bit more refined since then. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I've just always done music. I did choir all through middle school and high school, and recently I've just explored more of my, like, uh, personal style with acoustic and um, har different harmonies and the like. So, yeah. Well, awesome. What about you, Christina? Yeah, so, um, like, ever since a young age, I've, I've always loved to express myself artistically, and I dabbled in, like, a variety of things. And uh, when I was graduating high school, I was, I was very, very sad um, to be going off to college and leaving my friends. So that's when I wrote my first song. And ever since then, I've, you know, music has kind of been my main hobby. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I can relate to you there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, well, that's me left. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I started oof, when I, I don't know, when I was pretty young. Um, um, my, my, my dad is, is a uh, teacher and gives lessons for um, tuba and, and trombone. Uh, so it's, it's uh, kind of a family thing. Uh, we 
we had uh, lessons when we were younger and, and started. Uh, I started with piano, but I uh, quit that about two or three years um, after I started. And when I was 16, I just, um, well, tried, tried to, to pick up an instrument again. And it, it was the, oops, uh, it was the guitar. And yeah, that's when I, I decided to stick with that and just play the guitar and sing and write songs. I don't know how that developed. <laughs> that's cool. Just happened. Well, sorry. <sighs> It's always cool to hear everyone's uh, like origin stories for how they got into music. Because everyone always has a different spin or like a different, uh, you know, be beginning thing that kind of kicked them down that path. It's always neat to hear the different variations of that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I gotta I gotta commend all of you for for sticking with it. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I you know pick up guitar occasionally but i never have the dedication to practice or anything like that and uh so i really i gotta commend all of you for, for sticking with your instruments and writing songs and all that it's awesome my brother always said to me uh you don't have to practice you have to just play it's <laughs> <laughs> good advice uh, yeah ready so moving on um We'll start by um, by everyone, like everyone telling how they actually find out about the game. So, Alessandra, how did you find out about Life is Strange? Uh, I I loved that game. Maybe I think the Life is Strange is probably one of the best best game I've ever played because uh, uh, it it takes you in a sort of corresponding reality in which. Uh, you are a, a young student that have the power to win time. Every decision that you made have consequence. And in a few words, you have the whole control of what, happen, of what happens and why. So uh, I like uh, um, I liked so much that that game. I love the the scenes, uh, the the places, the, the music, of course, uh, and uh, I, I I really enjoyed uh, because uh, during the entire game, I um, during the entire game, I felt like uh, I was. I was Max. I feel like her, and I thought uh, um, that that was amazing. It does. Uh, it was a sort of a real virtual experience because the the story is is very real. Uh, it could happen in reality if if we can imagine. So uh, that was a. Uh, Really good experience for me. <laughs> awesome. So what about you, Dakota? You kind of like oh man. Um, well, I heard about it uh, when it like when it just came out. Um, my sister told me about it, and she said you have to get your friends over and play this game with them. It's like it's like no game that I've ever played before. So we did that, and after the first episode, we just all kind of had this moment after the first one, and we were like, whoa, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, and what, I think what impressed us so much was just how human it is. Because I think, I mean, I've played games before where they are based on the choices that you make with the character, but Life is Strange just does it in such a way that's so realistic and so heartfelt. Um, and so mm -hmm. we just became obsessed with the game pretty much right after that. And we had a group message dedicated to it when we would just constantly <laughs> make conspiracy theories. About, <laughs> I thought for sure after the first episode that... Uh, they were. It was like some subplot for X Men, and they were all had these supernatural abilities. Obviously, I was wrong, <laughs> but uh, it, it was such a good game, man. And yeah, it just it has. I have a very sentimental attachment to it because of that. Mm -hmm. It just reminds me of my friends and sitting on our couch and playing it. Pretty good. That's one. awesome. Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's good you had a support group there for the tears oh, that we shed sure. in the later episode, especially, especially the last episode. <laughs> Christina. Yeah, so I think I saw um, a trailer for it on Steam, um, probably after the whole thing, all five episodes had come out. 
And I just watched the trailer, and I think um, I immediately started uh, shipping Price Field before I knew it was a thing, <laughs> and decided uh, that I just I had to play the game. And so, um, yeah, I, I really I really enjoyed it. Awesome. Um, well, I heard first about the game. Uh, I think, yeah, yeah, a, a, a um, German let's player played it, and I watched like uh, half uh, of of the first. Um, episode not not of life is strange but of this let's play and um and i decided i i can't i can't watch i have to play it myself so i <laughs> i um i looked for or a demo played that and and then i decided to to buy it and actually play it and <laughs> was kind of a, a breakdown every time when i had to to wait for uh, the next episode to to uh, yeah, to to its release, uh, it's been months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like honestly, we're still waiting for like season two, and that wait's gonna be even bad if it does happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything <be> new? <laughs> so, Jeff, and then, yeah, a big question. Well, I was gonna the ask of them Kothi, all. but. <laughs> Oh. We already kind of <laughs> touched on him. Yeah, no. um, so we're going to ask the big question that we always have to ask people next. <laughs> and that is no, no. <laughs> Bay, B-A-E, or Bay, B-A-Y. And this is for Alessandra first. To Chloe sacrifice or... Chloe or sacrifice Arcadia Bay. Uh, well, what I choose at the end of the game, I yeah. choose to sacrifice Chloe. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I was crying a lot. <laughs> um, right knee was the, the the right things to do, and uh, I have to. So I push the bottom, close my eyes, and cry. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> The ending is still still hard to watch. Oh my god! Every time. Um, What about you, Dakota? Um, I definitely am BAE. I screwed the bay over so fast; it was not even funny. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, "They'll figure it out." You know what, Chloe? Mac kind of killed your parents and stuff indirectly, but you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Uh, (laughs) Love conquers all, right? So, yes, BAE definitely. Christina. Yeah, so I chose to um, go back in time and, and sacrifice Chloe, and I think it was because I just I overwhelmingly felt at the time that it was just it was just the right thing to do, you know. And, and Chloe had kind of asked uh, that mm-hmm. that would be the choice that that Max made, um, and I oh my gosh, I was so devastated. Like I was I was shocked at how heartbroken I was over it for days. You know, I'd like go to work and I'd be like, why am I so still upset about this? You know, <laughs> and. Um, you know, since then I've thought about it more and, and I really, I really like both endings. Like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like argue for one, like so much more so than the other. I think, I think they both uh, have their merits and, um, you know, I've written a few, uh, songs about life is strange and I've kind of seen it from both, per- both perspectives and written songs from both perspectives. Cause I think they're just, um, they're both totally valid. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> totally. Yeah. Uh, but I totally uh, chose um, B A Y, and I do not regret it. Uh, <laughs> it was hard, very, but uh, it was the right thing to do. And yeah, it, it doesn't get easy, easier. <laughs> Good for you guys being so moral. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's uh, no judgment passed for your choices. <laughs> can always go back in time right <laughs> there you go <laughs> and Kothi I think uh, I think you yeah, we... you answered this for us but for those of us who who haven't heard the uh, the interview with you yeah yeah I uh, I chose to sacrifice Arcadia Bay the first time I played it when I actually very first played <laughs> it uh, leading up <laughs> to that event I was very much, very much, very much set that if this comes up, I am immediately going to sacrifice. Save Chloe, 100%. Uh, 
when it actually <laughs> got to the point, though, where she asked me, like, hey, no, let me die, save everybody else, I actually did have to pause and, like, think about it. I still ended up saving her. I was like, no, forget that. I, I came all this way to save her. I'm doing it. <laughs> Stuck to my guns. But, uh, yeah, it was very interesting to me because I actually felt... Like, wow, this is a lot heavier than I was anticipating it to be. You know, I thought there was, I was going to have that very, uh, you know, tunnel vision, love conquers all type uh, feeling about it. But I ended up actually genuinely feeling bad over the prospect of letting, you know, all of their childhood memories, all this, uh, all you know, all these people, their childhood home, all get pretty much demolished uh, in some capacity or another, you know, even if there were implied potential survivors uh letting all that devastation come so there was a lot of heaviness to it but i did end up sacrificing the bay and saving the other bay instead <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> um we're gonna ask uh get into kind of why you entered the con the competition the contest how you heard about it and uh what what made you decide to submit so uh alessandra why why did you enter um uh, at first i i decide to participate for for um, for my entertainment uh i think that uh, was a, a nice idea to take part in the contest because uh, uh, in the past i i tried to make covers of other songs so i just think why not? It's it's a uh, it's nice things to do, uh, and and I love the the soundtracks, uh, the soundtrack of of the game. So I try. Mm -hmm. I thought uh, uh, they they would never uh, choose my my cover. I, I just have fun with with the others. Uh, listen to to the other to the other the others. Um, Covers, and then when I found out that uh, uh, I was one of the shortlist, I was like, "Me? What? Really? No, it's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not possible. <laughs> now I have to create an original song. <laughs> if uh, I have the power to, one time I I don't know if I <laughs> make the same decision, <laughs> but." Uh, but it, it was it, it was very 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 fun. It was uh, an an occasion to me to um, to give you uh, to give my music to 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 the others. So uh, that was a good idea <laughs> in the end. <laughs> and well, so, <laughs> sorry, go ahead. That, no, no, that, that's it. <laughs> so well, uh, we're we're grateful that all of you entered and that <laughs> we had these amazing songs to listen to. But uh, what about you, Dakota? What what made you decide to enter? Um, well, I was just you know running around the Twitterverse, just looking at my feed, and uh, I saw that someone had reblogged or oops, sorry, retweeted. Um, the, the the link for this competition and it was just pretty much a no-brainer for me because one of the things that I did love most about this game was the soundtrack is just so good um so I just I think immediately that day I started recording um I just pulled up my little ukulele and just went for it <laughs> thought it was such a cool opportunity well, awesome what about you Christina yeah so I, I found out about it on Facebook um very you know various uh, pages that I follow had um, had posted about it, and I just felt like it was like totally up my alley. Like I've already written original Life is Strange inspired songs, and I'm like, well, let's let's go for it, you know. And I'd, I'd love to collaborate with Kothi, so um, I just thought uh, it would be a, a really great contest to enter. Very cool. Yeah, I uh, also yeah also found out. Oh, um, via Facebook. Uh, I, I don't know actually how it got there because um, if I remember right, I didn't have um, liked the page until then. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know. It, it, it appeared uh, in, my, in my Facebook feed and I thought, hey, <laughs> you, you need to do a cover anyway. Uh, you're overdue. Your, your YouTube channel is like, I don't know, <laughs> a little behind. So 
let's let's do that instead. So that's why I joined. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty spontaneous decision, actually. <laughs> well, awesome. And then Kothi, you are actually one of our uh, one of the the judges. The guest judges. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was. It was, it was pretty awesome to listen to just all the different submissions. I was blown away by how many people uh, joined up. That was pretty. Fair. I forget what the exact number was that we ended up having, but it was, it was quite a lot. And that was pretty awesome to get to go through and listen to all the different, uh, you know, various musicians and then try to narrow that down. I remember I had a pretty massive. Uh, pretty massive list to video. Like, I was like, okay, I'm just going to choose the ones that I absolutely like the most. And I had like almost all of them on there at first. And I was like, oh God, I, <laughs> now I'm going to have to really start filing this down. And then I, started, and then I started trying to get, you know, a little more technical about it and try to get my uh, absolute top favorite picks. And it was good because everyone that uh, ended up making it to the shortlist was actually one of the people I had voted for. So that made me pretty happy. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah so um just for uh for anyone wondering the way that it was kind of decided is all the staff at uh, life of strange fans pick 10 um their 10 favorite covers and then the five that had the most similarities so um you know for instance like if Jamie and myself and Jess picked the same song then that would have three points to it and all that and then uh so that was how the shortlist was created and, you know, Kothi's picks and all that. So that is, uh, and that's kind of similar to how the finalists will be, um, judged as well. Oh, okay. Kind of a good transition um, towards our last question, Joey. Yeah. Just speaking of finalists, um, you were told to basically create an original song based on the game. So basically, well, um, Basically, uh, just talk a bit about your song. So we're going to just start, start with Alessandra. Uh, okay. Um, did you ask me to speak about my song? Yeah, just talk I, about it. I mean... Uh, okay. <laughs> just to be sure. Um, I just... Um, uh, for, for, for the song, I just think about the game... Uh, I've I've just been thinking uh, uh, of, uh, about about the game, about my experience, and uh, I uh, I um, I try to give my point of view uh, about the game. Uh, that is that uh, we can change destiny at all. Uh, so uh, even if in in the game it. It seems possible to change reality. Um, in the end, it, it, it is not, and uh, this happens in the game. But it could happen also in, in the real life. So I try to express this, uh, this, this thoughts. For for the music, I just uh, used. Uh, uh, sim simple chords for me, just to create an, uh, uh, a, a simple um, melody for my voice because uh, uh, I, I, I want to, to create a, a, a familiar atmosphere uh, that <laughs> um, so uh, I just let me be inspired by the game and the songs the song, uh, the song uh, um, I, I, I succeed to, to make the song uh, as I want so mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's it <laughs> <laughs> And now, uh, so in in your song inside the game, you're um, is that a studio that is that like actually your studio that you're recording in, or yeah, it's, it's uh, um, my my friend's studios studio. So uh, I I ask him to re to record the song and. Uh, uh, he said yes, so uh, I record record the song in in a studio. Yes. 
Awesome. Hey, let's go. To... Uh, what? I uh, said so Dakota. Yeah. Oh, that was me. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, well, my song is. I kind of had this idea. I was thinking about, um, like, you play the whole game from Max's perspective. So I just kind of tried to put myself there mentally, and I just came to this thought that it would be a real, like, it's obviously a huge gift to have her ability to move through time like that. But it, it also must just feel like the biggest burden at times as well. Um, and how you would really come to value those moments that are just peaceful and quiet and don't need any kind of interve intervention at all. So I came up with this concept of um, just be still, be still in time and just let life happen to you, how it's going to happen every now and then. Um, and then there was also an interview that I was watching with, uh, I think it was Morgan Freeman, you know, voice of God. He was talking about how <laughs> he, the, the actors that have the most impact on him aren't the ones that are really, uh, that have a lot of movement or that are very loud or they're the ones that are very still and who are really controlled with their movements that have the most impact on them, uh, on him and draw him into the scene and what the scene means. Um, so that kind of coincided with the idea I was trying to create of how it's very impressive that she can rewind time and that she can do these incredible things. But doing those incredible things also underscores when she decides not to and makes those choices when she decides not to even more profound. Um, so that's kind of where I was going with that of just, you know, being still and just being in the moment pretty much. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's really good with the the moments of calm theme too that are in each episode. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, did you have a do you have like a home studio that you recorded with? Did you um, how did you how did you record? Yeah, yeah, I have a little uh, little home studio set up with just my keyboard, my laptop, and I just I record on Cubase. And um, yeah, that's it's a really simple setup. Awesome. Okay, so my song uh, is, be call is called uh, Because I Tried, and originally for the song I was kind of inspired just by that moment where Max and Chloe find Rachel's body, um, because that moment, it really, it really affected me, like, unlike any of the other moments in the game, because I cried a lot um, during the game and, and stuff. I, I'll cry at the drop of a hat at things. But that, that moment um, <laughs> where they where they found Rachel's body, it, like, it, it gave me, like, a different sort of sensation, kind of like a physical, like, anxiety and fear almost. And I was, I was like, I was blown away that a game could make me feel like that, you know. So... Um, so that moment kind of stuck with me and, and started to develop uh, kind of the melancholy feel of the song and everything. And, you know, th some of the beginning lyrics are kind of about how uh, Chloe feels uh, upon finding Rachel's body. And I kind of realized that um, that Max sort of she tried really hard to save Chloe over and over again throughout the game, you know, especially as you get toward those last episodes, it becomes, you know, kind of just painfully obvious, like how hard she's trying to save Chloe and to make everything, you know, go well for her. And it kind of paralleled for me how uh, Chloe tried hard to find Rachel. You know, she, it, it had been like six months and she was putting up all those posters. So I really tried in this song to, to really highlight that parallel between those two things. And, um, and I also just thought, uh, by the end, it was just a really good theme for the game, you know, just because of how hard Max tried throughout the game. Uh, so yeah. And, uh, same question to you. Did, uh, how did you record your song? Um, yeah, I did it at home. I've, you know, so I've been I've been doing this for about ten years. I've accumulated a little a little you know home studio kind of setup. Um, I've been really into playing and practicing electric guitar lately, so that was a lot of fun to um, to kind of feature a guitar solo and all that. And I use uh, FL Studio to um, to do everything, and and I have some virtual instruments that I added as well. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, so my song that's uh, not without a home. Um, it's basically a uh, yeah, it, yeah, a mixture of of uh, uh, of verses um, about uh, lots of characters from Life is Strange. I I <laughs> sat a few days and and played it from from episode one to episode five just to to get into it again. 
and I decided that I really liked the um, the, the homeless woman, um, and and I I um, well I decided to to feature her in 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 this song and and I don't know um, see through her eyes um, about I don't know. Um, the, the, all the people she she sees every day and and um, with, with all their different lives and uh, of course she also sees um, the the um, characters we uh, come to know and love like I don't know Kate and and Chloe Max and but also uh, Nathan or <laughs> Victoria I don't know Rachel and um, yeah. So, so that's actually what, what I did. I, I, I um, gave every character I, I, that, that came in mind, that, that stuck in my mind, a little verse and, yeah, put it all together. <laughs> that's awesome. We don't, uh, we don't often get things from perspectives of uh, a lot of, like, smaller side characters, so it's really... Yeah, I really uh, think she's, she's a little bit... Um, I don't know how to to say that. Not, not underappreciated, but yeah, easy to forget, and that's what I wanted to <laughs> fight <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I also recorded at home. I gathered some equipment over the years, and nothing fancy, fancy though. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Y'all all did. You all did a, a excellent job, and. uh I know personally, I was absolutely blown away when me listening to the songs at work and stuff. So, <laughs> mm, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say everybody did a very fantastic job all around. I thought with uh, you know, with the different setups, obviously, but just in general, from a composition standpoint, from a thematic standpoint, or from a lyrical standpoint, they were all really, really uh, well thought out, well put together, well recorded, well written. So, good job to everyone on that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we're going to have clips of everyone's song, the final entries. So those were 
all the entries. You can find um, the links to the full songs in the description. Um, and that's pretty much it for this episode. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us this week. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Great having you on the show. Um, the the winners will be announced next Friday, I believe. In the phone, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, look forward to that. And, uh, Kothi, thanks for, thanks for joining us again. And Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to the, uh, grand finale of the competition, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Alessandra, Dakota, Christina, Matt, thank you all again for coming on the show, hanging out with us. Well, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's super nice, fun. Cool. nice meeting you all in person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, guys, let's listen, uh, guys and gals, folks. Um, make sure to be on the lookout for the winners announced, and uh, you can keep up to date on Life of Strange Fans dot com. Uh, you can follow their Twitter. Um, we'll also probably be tweeting about it. Um, and we look forward to the next episode, and we look forward to the final winner. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> So on that note, we will see everybody next time. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Ciao. Bye. <laughs>